All right, hey guys. Um, so if you're watching this, you were uh, probably wondering how to check the version of RabbitMQ. So um, you're, you're in luck. This turns out to be super incredibly easy. So um, let me just zoom in on this, uh, this document that I wrote real quick. So there we go. Um, so I know the resolution is a little high on this uh, on my monitor. So um, hopefully I zoomed in enough for you to be able to see this in the the video. But um, yeah, basically you can just run uh, you can run any of these three commands. You can say rabbitmq ctl version or and we're going to show you how to do that in the terminal over here. But you could also say rabbitmq diagnostic server version, rabbitmq ctl status, and just grep for rabbitmq. Or you could um, now, if you're on Windows, you can use RabbitMQ CTL bat um, status. And uh, let's see what else. In case you want to know the Erlang version, you can say RabbitMQ Diagnostics Erlang version. And if you want to use the GUI, you can, uh, you know, as soon as you log in, it's kind of basically just going to tell you right up here your RabbitMQ version and the Erlang version right at the top. And we actually covered how to uh, how to install the the web management GUI in another video. Um, we, we, we showed you how to en enable that plugin also. So um, you, you might want to check that out if you haven't installed that yet and that's something that interests you. So anyways, let's let's demo how this works. Let's run this first command, rabbitmq ctl version, paste that over here, and there we go. We're running version 3.8.9. Now you can also use this rabbitmq diagnostics command paste that in and there we go same deal all right so um and usually i probably wouldn't bother with the rest of these i just use that that first one um and there we go you can run this and we're basically just grepping for it we could probably uh exclude some more of these things there's a lot of output here really all we're lo looking for is this first thing right here this shows you the version 3.8.9 so just like the other commands showed us and we're, we're running on Linux right now. Um, I'm not running this on Windows at all at the moment, but uh, this is the command we would use for that. So in, anyways, skipping right along here, you're gonna see the Erlang version. Let's try this out. So paste this in here, and there we go, Erlang OTP 2315. All right, so that's great. Um, let's check the GUI. So we actually have the GUI open in this other window here. And uh, we're on the admin tab. It doesn't matter. We can go to the home. And uh, anyways, you'll notice up at the top here. Let me, let me actually zoom in on this browser. So hopefully that's enough zooming. Now you can't actually see everything that's displayed on the page. But the important thing we're, you're looking for up here is at the top here, right under the logo here. It says RabbitMQ 3.8.9 and Erlang 23.1.5. All right, so there we go. That matches our Erlang version that we checked before and the RabbitMQ version that we uh, checked before from the command line. So there we go. Those are a bunch of different ways you can check the version of RabbitMQ. So um, this is a quick video. Hopefully you found it useful. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. Hopefully we, we helped out a bit. Um, if not, you know you can also give us a thumbs down. That's, that's, that's fine too. Um, you, you know, definitely leave a comment down below. We want to know what you think. Um, comments, criticisms, questions, anything you want to say, we want to hear it. We try to get back to everyone, at least at this point. We're not getting flooded with comments and questions. So we try to get back to people. But um, if you want to see more things like this or, or more tech stuff in general, you're going to want to subscribe to our channel. Hit the little bell icon so you get an alert when a new video comes out. we got a lot of great stuff coming down the tube. If you're into, like, servers, um, you know, databases, web servers, uh, coding, you know, Python, uh, and a bunch of other languages we're going to cover too. Um, any of that kind of stuff. If you're into hardware, um, file systems, any anything related to servers or tech in general, even even like just taking different things apart, um, uh, server components, uh, like server hardware, desktop hardware. Um, electronics, uh, 3D printing, all sorts of, of tech stuff. Um, single board computers like Raspberry Pis, Odroids, Banana Pies, um, all, all building robots, um, all sorts of other interesting things we're covering. If, if any of that stuff sounds interesting to you, you're probably going to want to hit the subscribe button and see more of this. It's going to liven your uh, YouTube feed up and um, definitely going to be a great decision if you do want to you know, just 
hit that subscribe button and little bell icon if, if you're if you're into getting alerts. Not everyone wants to get an alert right away, right away. But we do have a ton of great stuff coming up that you probably don't want to miss. So, anyways, as always, hopefully you found this useful. Hopefully you enjoyed watching. Um, if there's anything you thought we could do better, again, you know, just leave a comment down below. We always want. Um, we, we, we invite um, any kind of criticism or comments you can give us. It just helps us uh, do a better job at uh, putting out better videos. So um, definitely tell us what you think in the comments down below. And um, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.